You're in the jailhouse now. Not behind a plow. I got my hat in my face. Hey, cap guy, get this hat of my face. <laughs> I'm in the jail. Alright, that's better. Anyway, why are you wearing that co-op hat? Farmer's Co-op, Corn, Oklahoma. Well, that's what Corn Weatherford Eagley. Cuz, you got me in these baby overalls, that's why. Did you find me any clothes today at the yard sales? <laughs> no, I looked, but I didn't find any that you would have liked. Well, I don't like this baby be gosh one either. Couldn't find me a John Deere, couldn't... Anyway... Cap guy went sourcing again today. Found a few things. A few things of value. He didn't spend a ton of money, but he had 14 sales yesterday, so we better get going with that. So he can go out and get to the post office, because he ain't even done that yet. Man, Cap guy, procrastinator you. <laughs> you better hush. Why? You put me in a baby big gosh overalls. I'm not a baby. I know, and they're too big for you. Yeah. Couldn't you put me in like a Tyrion Lannister Game of Thrones outfit or something. I'm about the same size as him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then the dragon would burn you to death. Oh, yeah, I don't want that. Anyway, we'll get on with the show. It's time for the Cap Guy Show. Thanks, Corey, for subscribing. We were just at your yard sale. We saw you subscribe. We appreciate all you new subscribers. And uh, we'll try to stay over 300 this time. And uh, keep checking in because we'll show you how to make money. That's the cap guy. I'm JT. We live in Oklahoma. Talk to you later. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I went out. I didn't spend a lot of money today. About seven, about the same as yesterday. About seventy, seventy dollars right around there. And there just wasn't a ton of stuff. Um, I did find some pretty good stuff. So I mean, it's it's decent. So I'll show you, and I'll make some money off of it. Um, there's a couple of little things I wanted to tell you. Uh, yesterday on those drill bits, that if you watched my video yesterday. They're uh, air hammer bits. There were 24 of them. I ended up putting them in a lot together. Looks like some of them could sell for $10 a piece. So I put all 24 in one lot, and there's a lot of duplicate bits. And I started at $49, and I already have a $49 bit on it. So I'm hoping that thing goes up to a couple hundred dollars. But even if it ended today, I'd make over 20 bucks off of it. Um, another thing that I found the other day, and I didn't mention at Goodwill a couple days ago on Wednesday, um, I was just going through by the t-shirts and I saw something that stuck out and it was a Selena t-shirt. Selena, the uh, Latina uh, star that was murdered by her uh, manager uh, back in the 90s. And I could tell it was vintage. It had the tag in it that looked vintage and it wasn't a remake or anything. And uh, it just had raised letters on it. said Selena in red and then, and then on the back it had a Selena tag too. And um, I paid, I think, $2.98 for it. And with my discount, two seventy something like that, and I put it on eBay starting at thirty dollars, and it's right now sitting with eight watchers on it, five days to go, and I've got a bit of thirty dollars already. And again, I'll make a bunch of money already, but I'm hoping that goes up to about sixty or seventy dollars or more. So we'll see. Um, she had a lot of love out there. Uh, J Lo played her in the movie, remember? Anyway, we'll get into what I sold real quick, then I'll show you what I sourced real quick, and then I'm gonna get on to the post office. I've already sold seven today. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> the first thing I sold yesterday was this, and and this thing just keeps paying dividends. This is part of that PC lot I got in Duncan. Those of you that watch my channel, it's just a disc only. It's UGO Power of Chaos, UG the Destiny. It is a vintage PC CD-ROM game. Um, I paid. Uh, I comped this, I think, or valued this at fifty cents. I paid ten for the whole box, and I'm probably overvaluing the box because I've already sold probably half the games in the box and made much more than my $10 off this box. That's also where I got the HP 15C that I sold for 150 and I paid a buck for. Um, I sold this for 1910 with free shipping and I made 1306 off that PC disc only game. The next is a Reebok and on July 4th, I made my second trip to an estate sale where they had the vintage concert t-shirts and um, they had three New Orleans Hornets, J.R. Smith jerseys, and I believe J.R. Smith played for the Tar Heels, too, in college. Um, 
One of these was new with tags, and it was like a $45 jersey back when it was new. It's screen printed, which are not as desirable as the uh, stitched letter jerseys, but they were $7.27 a piece, which is kind of high. The new one with tags would definitely be something worth that, but I bought all three of them. There were two in white and one in green, and again, they're all screen printed. I had the ones that were without a tag. They're all new, but one, two without tags, same size, 2XL, for I think I had them in the 50s or 49, and I had this one for 59, and I got an offer on it, and we negotiated back and forth, and this gentleman in California ended up buying all three of them. He bought this one new with tags for $50. He bought one of the others for $46. Uh, three of that was to, to help with the shipping on this uh, because I did have shipping on top. And the other one for $43 with free shipping. So I ended up making $91 in profit off the three jerseys that I had. Uh, I had over $21, about $21, almost $22 invested. But after fees and cost of goods and everything, I ended up profiting $91 off those three jerseys. And the other two are right here, and I got them all in a flat rate envelope. And there you go. The next one is a retail arbitrage I picked up just last week in uh, at Ross. They had a Ezekiel Sanders and one Dak Prescott. These are youth mediums, new with tags. They're $34.99 was what the original price was. I paid $7.99, and I sold this for $29.99 with free shipping, and I made $14.44. I still have the Ezekiel Elliott, and I have some Russell Westbrook ones. They're all U sizes. The next was a big home run for me. This is a Twilight Zone Tower of Terror 90s t-shirt, Mickey Mouse. I paid $2.49 at a thrift store just uh, the end of July, and I sold this yesterday. You see it right. $80 with free shipping. Yes, that's correct. $80 with free shipping. And there's the tag. This tells you a little bit about it being vintage. I don't think it's single stitch. Um, but it is definitely the ones that are screen printed in the neck here, you know, with the print in there, those aren't vintage. And this, some of them will still garner a little money. But when you see loose tags like this, those are the tags you're looking for, that kind of stuff. And that's the second Mickey shirt I've sold. The other one wasn't this valuable. Um, when you valued this on eBay and, and compared the pricing, this is about what it goes for, and that's that's what I got. So I made um, $63.50 off that T-shirt profit. The next is a bunch of vintage, vintage Hoffman Industries snack coaster trays. There's nine of them. They're in different colors, yellow, uh, a green or blue, and white. And I got these down at the Goodwill bins a while back. I've had them for quite a while. And I had them for, I think, $18 on my sale. And they finally sold. And I'm just making sure I got, I, got, I, I saw a watcher and I sent an offer for $16 um, plus shipping. And I made $13.37 off those snack trays. I didn't have maybe, what did I have in that? $0.69 cents invested based on weight. Next is also vintage. It is a US B-15 bomber jacket. I can't remember exactly how much I paid, but I think I paid about $7.50 for this. As you can see in the tag there, and I'll zoom in on that tag. Let me click on that picture. It is definitely a vintage jacket, and it's got the, the fur. It's like an Air Force jacket because it's the blue and not the green like the Army Air Corps wore. Uh, the jacket is blue. The pictures don't show that real well, but the fur collar is... And like I said, uh, it is a medium. And that may be why it took a while to sell. 750 in, I sold it for 33, made 22.62 off that vintage jacket. The next is one of those things I won't be picking up anymore. I got these at the bin, so I only had about $3 and change invested based on weight. Turned out there were nine, so I threw in the extra one in there. Uh, these went medium mail. I lost a little bit on the shipping because they did weigh a little bit more. Um, I sold them for 10 so when it was all said and done, I made 333 These are all pre-recorded shows, Bob Hope, um, Price is Right, some other stuff. That kind of stuff is just not enough in it for me. Things like Beanie Babies, uh, recorded VHS tapes, um, that kind of stuff, I'm just uh, not going to pick up anymore. There's just not enough in it. 
So Slimming Lime Green Capris. I paid $2 for these at a yard sale last summer. Sold them for $8.10 plus shipping, and I made $7.31 off those. The next is a Ricky Boppy Talladega Nights Wonder Bread Ball Cap. Uh, paid $0.18 cents at the bins. Had it in my 15% off, and I sold it for $13. This gentleman sent me a message and said, would you please ship it in a box, not in a poly bag? So I did what he asked and shipped it. He paid for shipping, and I made $11.63 off that ball cap. This I bought last summer for $5 at a yard sale. It is a 1991 National Finals Rodeo, Las Vegas. Um, satin jacket is a 2XL. Paid $5 at a yard sale. It's also part of the 15% off sale. Again, those sales work. So run your sales on stuff that hasn't moved. I sold it for um, $29.75 and made $23.17 off that jacket. The next is another kind of item that I won't pick up unless they're really valuable and in pristine condition. This is a Dystopica Morgan Allen Miller, and I don't know who this is, book. I got it at Goodwill, and it just looked unique. It's kind of a dark comic book, but it's got an autograph, and I paid $2 for it. Sold it for uh, 5 on a best offer plus shipping, and I made $1.70 off that, and I won't be picking those up anymore. And the last thing I sold yesterday was this PS4 uh, Yakuza Kiwami Steelbook Edition uh, game. I paid, uh, I think I paid two hundred two for this at Goodwill. Sold it for $20, made $15.89 uh, profit on it. So on the day, I had 14 sales, $55.62 in cost of goods, four hundred two ninety four dollars in Total sales and two eighty five oh eight in profit, almost a three hundred dollar day. I'll take it. And like I said, I got seven sales today. And now I'm going to show you some of the things I sourced today. And I don't think anything that I picked up today is like super valuable, but hey, it makes you money. So I paid a buck a piece for these, and I will pay a buck a piece when they're things that I think might have a little value. Um, Voodoo Ride, I don't know. Oh, I guess that's Dale Jr. I didn't even realize that until just now. So we know what that is. Fox, that's a motocross, but it's colorful and it's things that young people will want. This one's a Chevy Nation hat and it needs to be cleaned up. And then this one is Toby Mac, which is, I guess, a artist. And I, I did comp this. Um, they're about $13, I think. Uh, so not bad there. And then the last one is Snap-on. Snap-on, snap-off. Oh, wait, that's not it. That's clap-on, clap-off. Never mind. Snap-on. Anyway, buck a piece. Uh, first yard sale I went to this morning. I picked this up for $3. It is a ACDC CD set, bonfire, and it's got a manual or a, a program in the, in, the game, in the discs. And so... I'll, I'll comp that. I didn't, I, or value it. I didn't value it at the sale. I just kind of figured that it would be a, a good thing to have. I got another one, and this one is Leonard Skinner. And again, I paid three, and it looks like the rats have eaten a little bit into the box, but the disc, the uh, CDs are there. This one, um, I got him to go down on to $7. He wanted 10 for it. If you watch my channel, you know that just a couple of weeks ago, I bought this for $10 at Goodwill and sold her for 40 within a day of listing it. And guess what? It's the 10 disc set again with everything in it. And I'm going to put it on there for 40 and move that one too. Um, I got these for a quarter a piece and 50 cents a piece. Um, again, VHS, I don't always pick them up, but this is something I'd never, I mean, I know what Easy Riders is. It's a magazine dedicated to Harleys and stuff. These were a quarter a piece and I comped them and they, they comp at um, about $14, $15 a piece but I'll, I'll do some more research on them. And then this one, as soon as I saw it, I thought of my buddy Drifter Thrifter Nate there. And this is a 1990, I believe eight. No, 1989. Frisbees, uh, and I haven't done a valuation on this yet, but 50 cents, I'll take my chances. Somebody will want that. Maybe my buddy down there in Australia. I grabbed this because sometimes I grab stupid things and I needed a lizard in my house that I don't have to feed. And he was a dollar. That was a dumb buy, but you know how Cap Guy does some things that are stupid. So anyway, and I blame it on JT. I got this water machine for free, stream machine, and I don't know if it has any value, but I know it'll be in the pool. 
Uh, and I don't have a pool, but you know. Anyway, I got this for a dollar, Battleship. And again, I didn't do a valuation on it. I just grabbed it because I knew that it was probably a good thing. At one of my last sales of the day, I saw this and I grabbed it. And I've never seen a pink TI-84 Silver Plus. When I got home, and I haven't even checked to see if it works yet, but it's probably a battery issue, if anything. Uh, let me see if it comes on. No, nope. it probably needs batteries, and I'll check it out. But if I can get this working, I did do a valuation while I go on it, and this does sell for $41, the pink version. So this comes with batteries and all of its accessories. He did $750 for this. It's a MyTech DVD portable player that you put in your car. And I'll, if I don't sell this, it'll end up with a grandkid in their car when they make their trips to see their grandmother in New Mexico uh, or on vacation. Um, Goodwill, I found uh, a uh, part of that money that I spent was a couple of things were for me. One was a uh, wall mount for this TV that's behind me. It's going to go on the wall. And I got it for $4.94. And you know if you buy those at Walmart, they're about $90. So... I got this athletic jacket. It is Manchester United soccer in England, and it is a nice one. I don't always pick up soccer stuff, but I did comp, and I found some similar comps on this. I paid $7.97, and they comp for around $30 to $40, maybe $45. So I'll take my chances on that. Um, this is a Panasonic, and I got the same place. I got the TI and the DVD player, but it's a Panasonic... ES LA93 wet dry uh, shaver and I have something similar to this that but these brand new I, I did a valuation while I was there and they're $180 new but there were no used ones on there so I will play with that and see what I can do with it um, maybe make some pretty good money on that um, an estate sale I went to this morning I got this Wii with its Controllers, wands, and all that for ten dollars, and that's unusual to find a Wii at a yard sale or a state sale run by a company for ten dollars. They did have a PS2, and they wanted thirty-five for it, and it does go for a hundred, but it didn't have the cords and stuff, and I untested, and I just didn't want to mess with it. Um, I will see if there's a game in that Wii there, Nate, and then I paid five for this bag of again things I don't need. But there's a lot of really old vehicles in here. And I did not take them out. Uh, again, when I'm moving, some of these have some corrosion. Uh, and there may be some home runs in here, and there may not. But I gave five for the bag, and I will look these up. But they look like they could be 60s or 70s. Um, Hot Wheels matchbox type stuff. And I think, I think that may be it. I think that's all I picked up today. I will be out tomorrow a little bit. Um, there is one out there. There's a couple out there that look like they have some video game stuff that I'm going to be looking at. And I went to a bunch today where it was a dry run. There wasn't much there. I got a couple new subs while I'm out. I always seem to manage, and hopefully I can hold on to them. You can make money doing this, but it is a lot of work, and you got to value each thing, look it up, and see what it's going for and what it sells for. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will talk to you tomorrow as I always do. I got to get busy. I'm going to go ahead and package the five that I sold. And I already did two this morning. So I'm taking a bunch to the post office. And uh, again, I've already got seven sales today. It's not like big numbers like yesterday, but there's some $40 sales in there. So I'll take it. Sales are sales. Profit is profit. And thank you again to all of you that love my channel. Make good comments about it. MML, I'm sorry about what happened to you. Uh, I hope that works out when you appeal. Um, I hate it when people scam scam us sellers on eBay and eBay lets them get away with it. Uh, it's just uh, it's not right and shouldn't be. But y'all have a great day, and the cap guy will talk to you tomorrow as I always do. Talk to you later.